Hello boys and girls and my dear teachers welcome to APMS loop I am Sheikh Mahmood Basha PGT physics this video is about determination of refractive index of glass using Snell's law okay this is a, a drawing prepared there are four quadrants one two three four in the third quadrant angles are noted five 10, 15, 20, 25 and so on. In the first quadrant, angles are noted 0, 5, 10, 15, 20 and so on. You will observe, fractions also noted in the first quadrant. Between 0 to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 also noted here. Okay. Then, this is a, a semicircular glass lamp. So you place this semicircular glass lab such that its center coincides with the center of this uh, pro circle. So okay, this is uh, exactly placed. Now this is a uh, laser gun, laser pen you can say. So I am using this one. For a particular angle of incidence, so I will select uh, first uh, 30 degree. So this is incident side, this is refracted side. So for an angle of incidence 30 degree, what is the angle of refraction? 20 degrees. How much? 20 degrees. 20, okay. No doubt. Next, for 35, for 35 degrees angle of incidence, what is the angle of refraction? 22 degrees. Sure? Yes, sir. Right. For angle of incidence 40 degree, for 40 degree, 25. Say carefully, it is 25. Yes, it is 25. Then for uh, angle of incidence, 45 degrees. For 45 degrees, it is 28. Yes, between 20, 25 and 30, 28 is. Then for angle of incidence 50. For angle of incidence 50, it is 30 degrees. Yes, see exactly 30 degree. Then for angle of incidence uh, 55, 55 it is uh, 34, 34. See 33 or 34? 34. 33. Okay. Then for angle of incidence uh, 60 degree. For angle of incidence 60 degree it is 35. 35 degrees. Okay. So for various angles of incidence, we have noted the angles of refraction. So at this surface. The light is passing from air to glass, rarer to denser medium. Whereas at this surface, because it is uh, incident normally, there is no refraction at this point. So here there is no refraction, only refraction is taking place at this point. Because here the ray is incidenting normally. Okay, so refraction at only one point here, there is no refraction at this point because uh, the ray is incident normally along the radius. Okay. So let us calculate the uh, refractive index based on this uh, angles of incidence and corresponding angles of refraction.